Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm sharing with you a Whole Foods haul. It's been really requested so I figured I would do one for you and I did combine some stuff I got at Whole Foods in the States with some stuff I got for the week here because I got some really good gems that I want to try out and some old favorites so yeah let's get into it. So the first thing I picked up are these fine ground sea salt almond flour crackers by Simple Mills. These are by far my favorite cracker. They're grain free, they're only made with a few ingredients and they taste so good, they taste better than any other cracker, let alone the fact that they're grain free. So I would highly recommend trying them out. If you're not from the US, I will link a place where you can get them in Canada online, but they're so good, gluten free and three grams of protein. Next up, I got some Zatar Spice. I have been loving Mediterranean food and this is kind of one of the seasonings that they put on it. So it just has lemon peel, sesame seed, spice, spices, it just says organic spices, sumac, um, so I'm going to use these on like potatoes and things like that. I also got some cooking lavender to bake with and also to make lavender lattes. I find it's really hard to find cooking lavender, so when I spotted it, I picked it up. Next up, I was finally able to get my hands on the limited edition pumpkin spice RX bars. I'm super excited to try them. I've been seeing them like all over Instagram, so I'm really excited. I also picked up two other RX bars in my favorite flavor, which is the maple sea salt. This has quickly become my favorite. I love it, so if you're looking for a new flavor, I would suggest the maple sea salt. Then I picked up a couple of my favorite Go Macro bars. So I got the peanut butter chocolate chip, as well as the sunflower butter and chocolate. Go Macro probably has like my favorite bars in terms of texture and flavor, so highly recommend trying these out. I did also pick up some stuff from Eating Evolve, so I got their Country Caramel Chocolate as well as their Dark Chocolate Coconut Peanut Butter, not Peanut Butter, Coconut Butter Cups, um, and this is really good because it's 85%, it's made with coconut sugar, it's got no like bad ingredients in it for you, and then the um, Coconut Butter Cups, which are caramel flavored, and sea salt, ooh, and sea salt. Um, so they're paleo as well, I like to keep these in the freezer and then have one as like an evening snack. Just a few more bars I wanna share with you guys. I got the Bulletproof Vanilla Shortbread Collagen Protein Bar. I've wanted to try these, I got two. Um, the ingredients on them are really good. It's just cashew butter, collagen protein, chicory root fiber, um, brain octane like Bulletproof, uh, cashews, vanilla beans, sea salt. So really clean, really good. And then I discovered this new bar, which I haven't seen before, and I haven't even seen people talk about it, but it looked really good. And that is the Rise, the Simplest Protein Bar, and I got it in Lemon Cashew. It's got 15 grams of protein and only four ingredients. And the only ingredients are cashews, coconut nectar, pea protein, and lemon extract. So I have high hopes for this. This is really clean considering it has like no soy. Next up, I got some of my purely illicit granola. You guys know I love her granola. And I got the coconut cashew grain free. So you guys know I'm on this grain free kick. So I got this. It has coconut sugar, which is lower in glycemic index than other granolas. So this is like my granola of choice, like the brand. Oh, I lied. I do have one more bar. I have the Raw Rev Glow Bar in the creamy peanut butter and sea salt. I've tried this one before, but I think I tried the chocolate one from this brand, not this one. So I'm going to try it out, and I'll let you guys know like all about all these bars and whether I like them. So make sure you follow on Instagram to see. I did get two kind of like, not medicinal things, but supplement things. First off, I got this Bulletproof Coconut Charcoal um, Detox Capsules. These are really great to take if you're going to be going out for dinner, um, or if you drink. I don't drink, but if you drink, these are good to take before going for a night of drinking. Um, and they basically just help with bloating, with digestion, and clearing out like bad stuff if you're eating like greasy food or anything like that. So I got this. And then I got this travel pack of the enzyme blend. I love taking digestive enzymes. When I'm going out to eat, it just helps you like digest better because you don't know what like if you're gonna like totally agree with you. So I keep this. This is like a little travel pack. You can put it in your purse, and then you can also just refill it with like the big bottle afterwards. But if you struggle with that when going out to eat, I would highly suggest picking these up. Okay, so now we're on to the stuff like I get almost every week and stuff that I bought like locally. So first off, I got some free run eggs. It's important to get free run eggs, and you also want to look for eggs that have a really dark yolk. That's when you can tell the quality of the egg. I got a couple organic avocados, a couple lemons because I do have most of a big bag of lemons, but I didn't know if that would get me through the week, so I got a couple extra just in case. I got a couple limes for a recipe I'm going to be making. For meat, I got some um, chicken breast, just plain organic chicken breast. 
And then I got some grass-fed, this is important, you want to look for 100% grass-fed um, beef. So if you're going to be eating beef, make sure you get 100% grass-fed. And then I'm going to be making some bunless burgers with those. I've been loving doing that lately, like every single week. Um, I got a couple zucchini because I had some already, so I only got two. Into the last bag, I got some baby spinach for smoothies. I find it blends better than kale. And then I got this Yogi Restful Sleep Tea. It has valerian, chamomile, passionflower, and skullcap. And especially valerian, passionflower, and skullcap are great for putting you to sleep. Um, so, got this. I'm going to combine that with my natural calm magnesium also. Then I got some more of my silk cultured coconut. This is just a great coconut yogurt. It's the one gram of sugar per serving. So no added sugar. I got some frozen cauliflower to put in my smoothies. So basically, even though it's frozen, I do cook it and then refreeze it. But I just find this so much easier to open the bag, put it in the oven and like bake it and then freeze it again and have to chop it up. It's really just for convenience. And then I got some fish sauce, which isn't a normal thing, but it's for a recipe coming soon. I did get some almond milk. I got the organic almond beverage unsweetened from 365, which is their house brand. It was on sale and the ingredients are good on it, so I figured I would try this brand out. And then lastly, I got some mushrooms. If you ever go to like their prepared food section, um, not the hot bar with the salad, but like where the glass case is, they make the best mushrooms that taste amazing on burgers. So I highly recommend um, these mushrooms. So if you like mushrooms on things, they're the most amazing mushrooms I've ever had. All right, guys, thanks for watching my haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down below if you'd want me to do like a, a grocery haul and then a meal plan and like show you guys what I made with the stuff after. I think that could be a cool video idea. So let me know if that's something you'd want to see. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow on Instagram to kind of see snippets of what I make with the stuff all week long. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.